Nah, man. Nah. Nah. Nah, bro. <laughs> what? Man, I'm sorry, fam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There ain't no defending this. I mean, how does that conversation even go down? The following program is rated TV MAL. It contains strong language and is intended only for mature audiences. A lot of niggas is hating on me. On the other hand, I got people that's waiting for me to drop that heat. Man, sometimes you gotta bake it slowly. Something like that cheese and macaroni. I'm the one and only. Real quick, before we get into all that, something like uh something came to my timeline earlier. Um, real quick though. Um this nigga Meek Mill honestly needs to take a long vacation. Maybe go to Tulum, do some ayahuasca, uh, do some Bikram yoga, uh, you know, just regroup. Because his reputation is at an all-time low at this point. Every time he posts anything on Instagram or Twitter, he gets bombarded with disparaging comments. I mean, honestly, I feel like this is totally his fault. Uh, first and foremost, he needs to hire someone to handle his social media accounts or just log off altogether and completely. Damn, but anyways, Jeez. man, this video, um, and shout out to uh, the, art, the Art of Dialogue. Shout out to the Art of Dialogue. Um, the channel popped up in my feed today and I thought it was real interesting. They had a video with Gene Deal. Gene Deal is the longtime Diddy bodyguard who's been singing like a bird the last few years. Uh, and he recently gave his opinion on the Meek Mill gay rumors. Um, and honestly, you definitely got to take what he says with a grain of salt because it's clear he hates Diddy's guts and he's got to be making a bag off these interviews. However, a lot of the shit he be saying makes sense, especially in the light uh, of all the crazy shit that we've been finding out lately. But anyways, let's go ahead and run that clip. Um, and maybe, I don't know. I don't know if y'all see what I see, but um, let's check it out. One second. Let's go. Let's get it. All right. Cause you missed this. Sh Meek Mills. Well, he said a Philly rapper. You understand? And it was retracted, redacted in the paperwork to that. Because first of all, it had Meek Mills, it had Stevie J, they had redacted their names and they had Usher and they redacted their names and just said a uh, performer of the Super Bowl and a Philly rapper. Everybody kind of knew back in the day that Meek Mills and Puff was a little too friendly. Anytime two rappers or two people in the industry come dressed up alike on more than one occasion, they, my man, listen here, man. My dudes in Philly, I got some real strong dudes in Philly. They don't play that shit. And they probably embarrassed for the fact to see that Meek Mills, one of the street guys that came out of there, got caught up in this Holly Weird shit. This Holly Weird shit, where is that he's dressing like, he dressing the same shit. He dressing like Diddy? Hugged up with Diddy? I think that Lil Rod know a lot of shit, but I know this. Two men dress alike, it's just like two men laying down. When they both get up, <laughs> they both homo.
That's facts. Let's go. <laughs> and, and that's that real, real talk, talk bro. My well, man, man, you, you come, come to, to you go, go to a party, party dog, and the nigga got the same shirt you got on. I'm taking my shirt off. I'm walking around in a t-shirt. And then, not to blow meat meals up out the water or anything like that, it was said that they checked his Google search and all the other sh and he was searching for some online gay porn and all the other sh like, like that. Oh, wow. That shit is crazy, bro. But listen, those are those are what you know. It's crazy that money, that lifestyle, and you trying to fit into something get you. These guys never set out to do all this. Shit. Meek Mills, when he got into the game, he didn't set out to be uh, uh, questioned about his manhood with Diddy. But he put that self, himself in that position. So there we have it. Um, there we have it. Um, <laughs> the matching outfits is nasty, nasty work. Let me see if I can find these pictures of these these matching outfits. Give me one second. Meek and Diddy matching. Oh Lord. Oh, nah. Oh, nah, man. Is that up on the screen? Can y'all see that? Oh, nah. <laughs> oh, no. Let me put that on the full screen. Damn. They got the exact same thing on. They got the exact same thing on. Nah, man. Nah. Nah. Nah, bro. <laughs> what? Man, I'm sorry, fam. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. There ain't no defending this. I mean, how does that conversation even go down? The thought of two niggas planning to wear matching outfits at a party, especially... A Diddy party is crazy. I don't know, man. As far as I'm concerned, the verdict is in. Whatever they said Meek did, he did that shit. He did it. He did it. 